It is a huge honor to be able to address this group. Uh, after listening to the last couple days, I want to give you a little taste of a project I've been working on the last few years, the Rap Guide to Consciousness, which is a hip hop theater comedy show that played off Broadway for eight months last year. How conscious is each individual thing? How conscious is everyone in the room? How conscious is each organism we can consider? We usually think about a gradient of consciousness from very little to more than very little. Will we have conscious AIs? And how do we know? Uh, a little bit of Alison Gopnik and a little bit of Antonio Damasio informs this first song, which is a question of how conscious is one of the most deceptive and manipulative organisms in the natural world, a human baby. Um, so I'm going to be asking about whether you can feel what the baby feels. And if I say, you know that feeling, then I'd like you to shout back, yeah, or whatever you feel. Uh, you know when you know the feeling when you just had two days at a conference and you feel like everything you heard was awesome? You know that feeling? Yeah. You know the feeling. All right. Gaze into his eyes. But resist his Jedi powers. You know the feeling when you're chilling like a villain, dealing with no stress, like a room with no ceiling, just open, and you like the rhyme illin, so much you name your first son Dylan. Well, that's the feeling I felt November 12th when I first held Dylan and fell under a spell. That was three days after the election from hell when the Trump cartel captured Winterfell. Y'all know that feeling when you're like the president's in bed with the Russians and the civic discussion is critically busted and you're just ill and disgusted. Y'all know that feeling? Well, Dylan doesn't. What's it like to be a human baby? Just a blooming, buzzing confusion, maybe? I look in his eyes and try to read his thoughts and find myself wondering whether he's got them or just sensations, chaotic and messy. I want to relate. Should I take some LSD so I can stop thinking and just exist? I mean, look at the kid. Ignorance is bliss. You know the feeling when you find the right words to express your thoughts, connect and get heard? Y'all know that feeling? You know the feeling, animals don't though, and neither does Dylan. You know the feeling of bladder control when you don't even go when you have to go? Who knows that feeling? Yeah, even dogs know that feeling, but not Dylan. Dylan doesn't know the feeling of regret or anticipation of future stress. Is he conscious? Yes, or maybe not just yet. There could be several different levels of consciousness. Does he have a subjective perspective? I guess so. Is it like a fish, though, or like a gecko? I mean, the kid started out as a single cell about a year ago. And don't call it a miracle, call it a triumph of modern medicine. Dylan was an excellent IVF specimen. I know because he spent a month in a freezer so we could do research and check his genes first. Sometimes evolution needs a boost, and it worked too. Ah, uh, he's so cute. But when does he begin to be a mental self? I've seen a picture of him at 100 cells, and I wondered, when does consciousness emerge at the paramecium level or nematode worm? I was still a proud dad, though, when the kid had gills and a tail like a tadpole. You know the feeling when you comprehend and solve a problem that was trying to box you in. Y'all know that feeling? You know the feeling. Animals don't though, neither does Dylan. You know the feeling when you want to suck a boob so bad that nothing but a nipple's gonna do? Who knows that feeling? Yeah, hetero men, lesbians, and Dylan, right? I mean, Baby mammals are beguiling. Dylan's got skills, see? Eating, smiling, babbling, a little bit of call and response, communicating all of his needs and wants. But that doesn't mean he knows what he's doing, planning, considering, executing. Yeah, Dylan's got reasons to do stuff, but are they his reasons or evolutions? A cuckoo chick doesn't laugh or cry. It focuses on host chick infanticide. And if Dylan was a Barbary macaque, will he be clinging instinctively to mama's back? See, it's easy to anthropomorphize the mind of an animal, but evolution is blind and thinking is costly. A baby bird doesn't need it to get its mama to feed it, and Dylan doesn't need to reflect on his cuteness to recruit parental contributions. All he needs to do is goo goo and ooh cha. Resistance is futile. You know the feeling when you make a whole plan and your mind strategize and revise and adapt. Y'all know that feeling? You know the feeling. Animals. Though, neither does Dylan. <laughs> you know the feeling when you're looking in the mirror and you recognize your reflection in there? Who knows that feeling? Yeah, see, we're all the same. You, me, corvids, chimpanzees, dolphins, 
So far, just one really precocious elephant. All of us know that self-reflective feeling. But not Dylan. Thank you.